Hello everyone, welcome to Math and Logic. Today we'll learn a quick math trick that has a practical application, converting years to days and days to years. The result will be accurate within fraction of a percent, so quite good for merely seconds of calculations. Let's go! 450 years, how many days is it? First, let's divide it by 3, so we get 150. Now we increase it by 1 tenth. We can easily do it like this, just adding the same number with comma moved left. 150 plus 15 is 165. And that's it! That is our result in thousands. 450 years is around 165,000 days. The exact result is 164,362. It depends a bit on lap years, actually. As you see, our result is less than 0.4% off. Pretty good, huh? Let's try with smaller number. 12 years. How many days? 12 by 3 is 4. Add 1 tenth and we get 4.4 thousand. So 12 years is around 4,400 days. Again, very close to exact result. What if our number is not divisible by 3? Nothing changes, really. We can ignore the fractions. Let's see again with 450 years. What if we take 451 or 52 years, which are not divisible by 3? Ignore the fractions, so in fact calculate the same as for 450 years. Makes no sense? See for yourself. For all those three numbers, we'll give the same result as for 450, so around 165,000. And here are exact results. As you see, the difference is always below half a percent. However, with smaller numbers, those fractions do matter. What I will add now matters only for numbers below 200, not divisible by 3, and only when you want to keep such high precision. Otherwise, ignore it. So in this case, do everything as up till now, calculating as for smaller number divisible by 3, but at the end at 300 or 700. Depending how far was that number, 1 or 2. It's best to see the example. Let's convert 60, 61 and 62 years to days. For 60, it's now simple for you. 60 by 3 is 20, increase by 1 tenth, so we get 22,000 days. For 61, not divisible by 3, we do it just as for 60, but at the end we add 300 for one year difference from 61. Likewise, for 62 we do it just as for 60 again, but at the end we add 700 for two years difference from 62. Okay, so how do we do it the other way around, convert days to years? 120,000 days. How many years is it? Ignore thousands and now extract 110. So 120 minus 12 is 108. Now multiply it by 3, so we get 324. Finally, add 1% and round up. So we add 3 something, which rounded up gives us 328 years. So 120,000 days is around 328 years. Let's verify it. That's right! Another, 50,000 days. From 50 we extract 1 tenth, so 50 minus 5 is 45 times 3 is 135. Add 1%, so 1 then change, which rounded up is 137. Let's verify. 136.9 years. We got it. Of course, you can omit last step with 1% to make it a bit faster, but precision will go down a bit. However, converting hundreds of thousands of days to years and back in mere seconds with such a laser precision definitely can be impressive. You can do it faster than someone even opening up on the phone and calculating it. I hope you can find this method useful for you. I use here quick methods for multiplying by 9 and 11, which I hope to cover on next math episodes. And here is a link to division by 3 video. On my channel you will also find logic puzzles and methods to solve them, here's one of those videos. And here you can subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching!